Democracy 4 is a game that lets you take control of a nation, fix all of its issues, and usher in a golden age for your people. It also allows you to brainwash your people into serving you as a feudal lord. Which do you think I picked? So YouTube has been living up to their reputation of a stable platform- I'm kidding. Apparently YouTube has been unsubscribing people from channels, so if you don't mind checking to see if you're subscribed and letting me know in the comments if this has happened to you, that would be excellent. We just want to see if this is something affecting our channel as well. Now, on to enslaving the populace. The, I don't know about this, uh, this whole constitutional monarchy thing. I, I think that needs to change. Right, so of course we're going to be playing as God's chosen ruler, um, because it's true. Uh, our opposition party is the filthy peasants, and also the, uh, the filthier peasants. Right, so we've just ascended to the throne. <laughs> Prime Minister. Hmm, I don't believe in that. Now, how do we turn Britain into a monarchy? Time to return to feudalism. Quick disclaimer, these are going to be the views of a feudal lord <laughs> living around the 15th century. Not my own personal political views. But when I do something like this... Can't get upset at me. Right, the poor people love me, which is strange, but... Whatever. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and just try and get some... Political power. Here we have 33. Right. <laughs> We're gonna instantly create a fundamentalist education. Because of course, if people believe in God, They'll believe that I'm God's chosen ruler and do exactly what I'll say. So this is this is fine. This works. Chinese fishing. We can absolutely capture Chinese ships. Right, we're gonna eat breakfast. Oh, look how trustworthy we are. And and we can um um be interviewed whilst jogging. Ah, oh, we're just we're so strong. And and we're gonna film a baby lamb. That was our entire turn of political power. That's all we did. It was just one media shoot to the next. Art subsidies. Yeah, we can sponsor in our in our royal court. We can sponsor art. That sounds good. Executive term limits. Well, well this has to go. Right, so we need to erode democracy as much as possible. The best way to do that is getting rid of press freedom, as we know. <laughs> We've actually increased our approval rating. So that's that's pretty good. Already, the people are understanding. Full prayers. We can we can do that twice daily. You will pray twice a week. We, 61%. Oh man, they love, they love them. <laughs> they love the school prayers. <laughs> right, we're going to quickly have dedicated channels for public religious broadcasts. That's good. That's like the priest shouting on the streets. This is, this is good. Oh, a state religion. There we go. One of my ministers is tired of serving my government. I wonder why. <laughs> nice. We got a Nobel Prize prize. This is good. This is exactly... Look, see, feudalism is the future. It was the past, but now it's the future. Force political, military, religious oath. Yeah, sure. <laughs> for all citizens. For everyone. Everyone has to swear and kneel before the king. This is good. This is exactly what should happen. This is modern Britain. And by modern, I mean 1066 Britain. People are signing up to, have, to be new members. This is good. The people are rallying behind their king. It's not CK2. We can't just borrow money from the Jews and kick them out, can we? Less. Okay, so we're going to ban foreign church services. I think that, that works, right? It just in, All it does is increase racial tension. There we go. Brilliant. Jesus Christ. Baking gay cakes. Well, as a feudal lord, I don't think that, uh, that the gay people are allowed in in, what, 15th century? Of course they existed, but I don't think people liked that fact back then. LGBT lessons in school. I mean, again, I'm going to quickly refer to you, my previous answer. <laughs> oh my god, we could actually get serfs. Right, this is it. We're going to get peasants working in the fields. All unemployed must... must work. We're sending the people to the fields. It's the only way to make us strong again. Technology backwards is going to happen. That's fine. See? Saved my husband's life. You're welcome. Right, national anthem to start the news. That's fine. I don't know what this news is they speak of, but we're doing it. We're going to cancel stem cell research. <laughs> it doesn't seem right. It's an affront to God. What? What? Game hunting restrictions? No, the, the king shall hunt whenever he wants. He can't just break that from me. And animal testing. Nah, that's fine. Depends. Do the peasants count as animals? Because I consider them to be animals, so I suppose that's... I mean, the poor love me still. I don't know why. I'm not seeing Dane Guild here. 
a bit of an issue. Most of my economic ideas were based around paying off the Danes. Ooh, religious banknotes. That works. Plus the bomb. Uh, thank you very much. I think we'll use whatever weapons we can. If the Mongols were allowed to use biological warfare by chucking diseased cows into a village, I think I can use cluster bombs. The popularity was going real well. And then... Oh dear. No one likes the tobacco tax? That's fine. I will cancel it for you. Even kings have to follow their, their people sometimes, you know, keep them happy. Wow, that's a lot of line. That is... I am not looking at any of those things. Well, there's only one thing we can do, lads. Get rid of income tax. People are paying with their labor, not their not their money. Argentina plants flag. Oh my god, they have. Why would you bring the Falklands Islands into Democracy 4? I know I'm running a mod, but like, this is going to get me into trouble. If I speak, I am in trouble. How are the filthier peasants getting way more funding than I am? All right, it's time for the king to give a speech. He's got to be very careful because technically the king has to try and win an election. It's an elective monarchy right now. All right, let's give a speech. All right, things are going okay so far. Mm -hmm. Ish. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. And then just a little bit with the commuters bring it home. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Anything else that we can do that makes people like it? I mean, everyone likes food stamps, so let's just let's do that. 16% of the vote. Oh, boy. Just pledging everything I can to make people happy. I'll write more speeches. All right, how do I send in uh, <laughs> the army to go into the into the Houses of Parliament and just sort of declare that I'm in charge now? Welfare Fraud Department. Sure, let's do that. People have been skimping on the amount of grain they owe. Oh boy, it's not looking good for God's chosen ruler. But here's the thing. True feudalism is all about perception, right? It might seem like we lost that election, but feudal lords were never going to be popular. So how about we make this a tad more historically accurate? This is your instant dictatorship button. Now that sounds good to me. You see, I don't think anyone actually liked the kings back in their day. But it's what people are telling me, and so I am popular. <laughs> Changes to the policy cheap popularity so close to the elections made some of the voters cynical about your party. What do you mean? Just before we get in, we're gonna ban women from driving. Oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> Whoa, what a, what a turn of events. Well done. Well done. We are now feudal <laughs> lord. Turns out the people of Britain are ready for, for a new monarch. <laughs> this will go at the end of the video. But that's an amazing outro. One of your major party donors is insisting you placate them by implementing a specific policy. Cheat. Popularity. Wow, thanks, mate. Jesus Christ.